So you're looking for the best hotel in Midtown Manhattan. As always, we searched Yelp, Google, Zagat, and asked a whole bunch of locals. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we're hanging out at the Omni Berkshire place to see how it stacks up against the competition. Situated on 52nd Street in the corner of Madison and 5th Ave, this luxury hotel puts guests within walking distance of some of the city's best shopping, theater, and other attractions. The hotel is less than a five-minute walk from St. Patrick's Cathedral, Rockefeller Center, Museum of Modern Art, and Radio City Music Hall. It's about a 10-minute walk from Grand Central, Central Park, and about an eight-minute subway ride to Times Square, Penn Station, Empire State Building, and the Columbus Circle. So in short, you're literally in the middle of Manhattan. Omni caters to both business travelers and vacationing families alike. It offers that boutique experience with the white marble lobby entrance, elegant decor, and on-site restaurant that serves breakfast, dinner, and drinks. The hotel also offers a small fitness center on the 17th floor and a terrace that overlooks St. Patrick's Cathedral. More about the breakfast in the restaurant and the views from the terrace in just a bit. Let's talk room first. We stayed in the Premier Executive Terrace Room on the 19th floor, room number 1908. The terrace rooms are located on floor 12 and above for those city views. They're 360 square feet and feature Italian marble and granite bathrooms, luxury linens, pillows, and so on. This was a very big room, especially for New York City. It featured a great bathroom with a really good shower, lots of strong water pressure. It was clean with plenty of room for two people to move around and get ready. It even has a full stand-up mirror. The terrace was a nice addition as well if you want to take in the sights and sounds of New York City. A word of caution though, not all of the sights are spectacular. I would say these terrace rooms are a hit or a miss. We got one of the worst views from the terrace and I'm kind of glad. Let me show you what I mean so you don't get disappointed if you get the Madison Avenue side of the hotel. I mean, not bad, but not great. This is not the quote-unquote city skyline view they advertise on the website, yet you pay the same price. So keep that in mind if you're booking specifically for the views. While we're speaking about the negatives, the room was musty when I walked in. It smelled like an old closet and required a lot of airing out. Generally, the room was top-notch, about 10 to 20 years ago. It's not super dated, but it's starting to show its age a little. I'm also really not sure why the bricks on the terrace floors are not cemented in. I can lift them with my hands. I would assume you would not want loose bricks on the 19th floor of New York City building, but maybe there are some sort of codes preventing the cementing, or I'm not sure what's going on, but I, I really hope this is not uh, you know, them being lazy. I hope there's an actual reason for this. Now, speaking about that terrace, the hotel features its own that you can go up to. It's on 17th floor and has views of St. Patrick's Cathedral. It offers like a really unique angle of the cathedral, actually, from the 17th floor. But it's also not everything they advertise it to be. Now, let me explain. The cathedral is about one block away and can be seen across when you're standing on this terrace. So yes, you have a viewing deck of the cathedral, but it's a bit gimmicky. You can see part of the cathedral in between the two buildings, but you don't have a full view of it, and it's not like it's from the front, it's actually from the side. So again, it's a very nice view, but I want to show you what it looks like so you don't get disappointed if you're expecting like the most magnificent views of the front of the cathedral. If you wanted to do that, you'd have to walk one block and go see it for yourself. However, like I said, I got a bunch of great photos right here from the terrace. Let me show you what I mean. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram or Vero, you should. I post a lot of photos there. I'll, I'll give you a link down below. Alternatively, you don't even have to go to the terrace, to be honest. Like I said, you could just walk out of the hotel, 
just walk one block and stand right in front of the cathedral in all of its glory. It's really one of the most beautiful churches I have ever seen in my life. And it's, like I said, it's only one block away from the Omni. Last but not least, let's talk about food. Berg's Bar is located in the lobby of the hotel and offers food and drinks at night and really good breakfast in the morning. Hash browns, eggs benedicts, freshly squeezed juices, French toast, and a lot more, all cooked to perfection. I really had no complaints about the food, except for maybe the price. It's not cheap, remember this is New York City. With a pro tip, you could save $10 per person if you book the breakfast when you're booking the room. You can prepay for it, and it gives you like sort of like a $10 discount per guest. So at least it's something. Overall, Omni was a good experience. I would advise booking this hotel if you need that central location and don't care about the price. Alternatively, there are better choices if you want the views. The Arlo Nomad blows this away when it comes to the skyline views of New York City. I'll link a review, a video for you up top, you definitely want to check that one out. And the Conrad is a much better hotel experience and it's much cheaper if you don't care about staying you know, downtown, which is right next to the World Trade Center. I will link that review for you up top if you're interested. That's a really good one as well. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for all things New York City. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.